Bleacher Report's Mike Freeman quoted an anonymous NFC scout that said Dak Prescott will win the MVP award this season. Scout said about Dak, quote, I can see him getting literally twice as good as he was last season. He finished sixth in MVP voting as a rookie. We're joined once again by Rob Parker. I want to say something really quickly. Go ahead. Congratulations to you and Ernestine. Oh, thank you. One yes. year wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary, Skip. You are. Let me tell you something. Skip. Why are you inviting me, Skip? <laughs> Seriously, Skip. Did you think we wouldn't make it a year? No, it's great. I but, don't know how she did it. She's been putting up with it for about 16 years. But you know what? I've gotten to know both of them over the last few years. And just really thank nice you. people. You know I love Ernestine. Thank you. So do I. I just want to. Really nice person. Yeah. That's just very nice. Ernestine. But just, Congratulations, Ernestine. Yeah, just check with me tomorrow and see if we're still together. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you being nice? You're buttering Skip up before you say what I think you're going to say? Mm -hmm. Do you see Dak winning MVP? I got a double. No oh, way. Yeah. No oh. how. It could be one. See, it was a double. Yeah. But I will say this. And you know what? I get the first year was unbelievable, was out of nowhere. Tony Romo was supposed to be the guy. I get all of it. They won 11 in a row. Mm -hmm. But you ready for this, Shannon? Go ahead. Uh -huh. We had Tom Brady as the loat, the luckiest of all time. <laughs> we had LeBron as the fofo, <laughs> the that was, final that was, failure yeah. of yeah. all time. Very catchy. And now, right, Dak Prescott is the moat. The most overrated <laughs> of all time. He's the most. Enough already. Stop it. How in the world could he even be considered in that in, in, for MVP when you're talking about Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, Matt Ryan. Drew Come on Green. now. I know he had a great year. But there's <laughs> no way he's going to be in contention for the MVP because this is the second year, Shannon. They're going to make the adjustments on him. And you know what's going to happen. He's going to struggle. 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 <laughs> yeah. You want to go? I, I must admit that <laughs> I unwittingly gave Rob, I, I gave him the moat yesterday Damn. because we were already starting to argue about this. And I, I said, so what is he, the most overrated of all? And I thought, wait a minute, he's the moat, right? <laughs> so now we got moat t-shirts yeah. right? right? You want to go? No, you go ahead. Skip. You know what? My eyes ain't what they used to be. But I did drink some carrot juice this morning when I knew <laughs> we'd go talk about this. And I can see real clear now, Skip. I'm looking. Yeah. Looking at your little beady eyes. Mm -hmm. No! He's not winning the MVP. <laughs> Only four times in NFL history have a player won that award mm -hmm. in their second year. Now, Jim Brown was special. He won it his first two years. He was rookie of the year and MVP. Mm -hmm. Earl Campbell did it. But then we get the quarterback that's done it. Dan Marino won it his second year. They went to the Super Bowl that year. 48 touchdowns, 5,084 yards. They were 14 and 2. Kurt Warner also did it. 4,300 yards, 41 touchdowns. So just explain to me how is Dak Prescott going to get 40 plus touchdowns and 4,500 plus yards mm. and win at least 13 games again, Skip? Mm. You need to stop playing because what you've already told me. I, I haven't even started playing. Oh, yeah. I haven't even spoken know, you know yet. Where you are. No. Hold on, Skip. You just told me the Patriots are going to go undefeated. I did that, not say that. No, you did. I did not. Let me finish. I'm talking to Rob here. Rob, he said the Patriots are going undefeated. Joy, you heard it. No, he did Now, not. how, if the Patriots go undefeated, they're not going to give that award to Tom Brady. Aaron Rodgers is always going to be in contention because you know he's never going to, ever, ever going to throw double-digit interceptions mm. again in his life. Wait, the guy who started four and six last and year? And still didn't throw double-digit interceptions. Mm. 40 and seven. Mm. Going to be 42 and probably six this year. So ain't no way <laughs> he's winning the MVP. You know it and I know it. I Wait, don't know it. lines? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, unpack, <laughs> unpack that. Unpack that. I don't know it because right now, if you made me pick, I would say Tom Brady will be the MVP this next regular That's season. At 40 years old? At 40 years old. But is it preposterous that Dak could win MVP? No, it's ludicrous. not preposterous. It's not ludicrous. Not the rapper. It's it's not ASA, as I used to say, ASA 9, ASA 10, yeah, or ASA, ASA 11. Yes. It's, it's not even ass a nine. It might be like ass a one. That might be what no, it is. No, no, right? Skip. Because I would make Dak right now my second choice for MVP. Second? Yeah. You know? Because he finished sixth in MVP last year. Sixth as a raw rookie fourth round pick out of Mississippi State thrown into the Dallas Cowboy fire in game number one. Skip, they won then with Tony Romo row. looking over his shoulder starting game number six, he wins 11 straight games. 
And all he did was have the single greatest rookie quarterback performance in the history of the National Football League. Wow. He led QBR. He led all quarterbacks in QBR all the way to the last Sunday at Philly when they mailed a game they didn't even need to win. And that's why he fell barely to third just in QBR. So you don't think he could come back at a little higher level this year now that he's starting to figure it out? Again, I thought he should have been a very close third in MVP last year because it went oh, Matt what? Ryan, it went Tom Brady. Then how is Zeke third on that list? Listen, Dak Prescott is way more valuable than Ezekiel Elliott, and you're about to find out what's going to happen a couple of games this year without Ezekiel Elliott. That's why I, I fear for it. I, I'm sure it's coming, and I'm going to accept the fact that am I going to give Dak a chance to beat the New York football giants at Jerry World in the opener by himself? Yeah, I would. I give him a real good chance. And if he does, would that not be a leg up on MVP? And if he what, doesn't? What if he, well, I'm saying down. what if he does? What if he goes to Denver in week two and somehow beats those miraculous Broncos? Who's the quarterback now? I don't know who it is. The is it Trevor? Von Miller or is it, yeah. with two and a half facts? Yeah, yeah. So what if what if that goes up to mile high and wins that game? Would that not be another leg up on MVP? What, what did you not like about what happened last year? And again, Aaron Rodgers. How, how can Aaron Rodgers be ahead of him in the MVP race it last was year? He went four and six. Four. How he, did he starts off, he, 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 he loses six of his first ten games, and you're telling me he's the Can, can, I, can I bring up one guy? I want to bring this up. Yes. When Colin Kaepernick broke into the NFL, yeah. you know, people, were, they didn't have any tape on him. It was unbelievable. He was running wild. Am mm -hmm. I right? Yep. Ron Jaworski even went on and said that he, had to, he could be the greatest quarterback ever. And, boy, did that not come crashing down once they figured him out. Mm -hmm. And the same thing with Dak. I'm not saying he's going to be a bum skip, but they, they, he will not duplicate what he just did Rob, now that they have tape on him trust and me, they will be able to change him. From a long-suffering Dallas Cowboy fan, he changed the entire culture. The locker room went from what w could go wrong, will go wrong, to we're going to do this because that guy can do it. Yeah. Have you ever seen more poise from a rookie quarterback? Have you ever seen more positive, confident body language from a rookie quarterback? Have you ever seen more clutch playmaking from a rookie quarterback? He brought them back at Pittsburgh. He brought them back against Philly. He brought them back against Aaron Rodgers. He threw for 300 yards and got it all to 31 all against Aaron Rodgers. And, then what? and you, you're saying he can't be in the MVP race? Baloney. He, he'll be right in the middle of it. First of all, that was a Dallas scout that told Mike Freeman that. That's first and foremost. And That's Cap, wrong. That, How do you, you whoa, know whoa, whoa, it's whoa, 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 and Cap, Cap did go back to the NFC title. He had a, a title game, and he had an opportunity. He was a throw away from going back to the Super Bowl. I still believe he can play. Skip, second oh, of all. I'm not saying he can't play at all. Second of all, Zach did not change the culture because guess what? Guys are still getting suspended. Guys are still getting arrested in Dallas. So Dak didn't change anything. Who does Vegas still have as the second favorite Vegas. to win the Super Bowl? What the did, favorite to win the NFC is in Vegas still to this moment, Dallas. And what did Shannon say? Dak didn't change anything. <laughs> Second of all, you think they're going to win another 11 games in a row again? They might. They so well you might. You know that's not okay, going to happen. So, so no let me, let, let let me no, you, you can't explain this away. The best offensive line in pro football with an MMQB rating of, they, they had three in the top 25 players that's ranked right. overall, right? Yep, six in the top eight. same line with those same three dynamic players mm -hmm. the year before? Wait. They threw in Brandon Whedon and Matt Castle, and then Tony Romo came back. They went 1-11 and with the first two quarterbacks, and Romo, with that same offensive line, threw three interceptions and two pick sixes against Carolina on Thanksgiving. Well, how did Dak go 23-4, and 23 touchdowns to four interceptions, and win 11 in a row with the same offensive line? Uh, like, don't tell me it's all about the line. It's all about the quarterback. But you also line. added the running back there that opened up stuff for him. Why, why, they, why they, had a thousand, they had a thousand yard rusher in Darren McFadden the year before. He had 1,200 yards. So Zeke had 1,600. Yeah. I get you. He's said, really you good. Think, well, hold on, Skip. But you, you also said that Tony Romo had one of the best statistical seasons in 2014 with that same offensive line, top three player, and an 1,800 yard you. rusher. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I'm not yeah. talking. We well, look. We know Whedon and Sanchez are scrap heap quarterbacks. Not Sanchez, Matt Castle. Well, Sanchez all, didn't do it. all Fan of Castle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Blow him down easy. 
Skip, you and I both know what's going to happen. I'm trying to prepare because when you hurt, I hurt. I'm an extension of you. And when the Cowboys lose, I know how to make what? you feel. The NFL players voted their top 100 players. Guess who was 14th on that list? Dak Prescott. Wow. That well, means I, I rest my case. He's the most. Most overrated, oh most well overrated of all time. Is there, Rob. He Thanks for joining that. us. With his support, his argument. Should O.J. Simpson be welcome at the Pro Football Hall of Fame? We'll he lose that. juice.